Greetings, gracious viewers, and welcome to Enlightening Entertainment. In today's program, we are honored to present the Grammy-nominated pianist, composer, and New Age music pioneer, David Lons. His platinum album, Christophery's Dream, topped Billboard's first New Age adult alternative chart in 1988 and remained number one for 27 weeks. David Lons's music, embraced by worldwide fans since, is permeated with tranquility, deep feelings, and a celestial feel of spirituality. Born in 1950 in Seattle, USA, David Lons has shown his musical talent since a very young age. I was about four and a half years old, and I have to credit my, my mother, who was uh, a piano player, and my grandmother played the piano as well. So I had a lot of music in my life as, as, a, as a boy. And of course I took the piano lessons and did, did kind of the usual things that, that kids do. But by the time I was 10, I was already starting to um, compose my own, my own music. At age 12, young David decided to develop his talent on his own. He derived his inspiration from various kinds of music and great masters. He came into the limelight by playing with his rock band, The Town Criers. His exceptional piano skills also gave him the opportunity to play in Terry Jack's 1974 worldwide hit, Seasons in the Sun, and other albums. I really was excited, like many musicians in my age group, uh, when the Beatles came around, and they kind of changed the way popular music was viewed. And, and um, so really, I, I, I always, felt like I was being mentored by John Lennon and Paul McCartney. Um, in fact, I have to really thank George Martin, who was the Beatles producer. He would bring in classical musicians and, uh, you know, add touches to, the, to their music that wasn't typical. So I started to really listen uh, a little more um, intently to, to the great masters of uh, the classical era. And so they've also had a, a big influence on my life as well. Mr. Lanza's spiritual awareness further raises his music to a new level. I studied yoga for a while um, and, um, and learned how, you know, basic transcendental meditation techniques. I studied uh, Paramahansa Yogananda. Uh, I found his work really, really wonderful. I feel Jesus and Saint Germain around me a lot and uh, I love Buddha. Um, over the years, I've studied various uh, spiritual masters and put myself in a position where I open myself up to um, letting more light into my body and to, into my mind. As a spiritually oriented person, Mr. Lons was not contented with the existing music only. He hoped that his music could bring more healing and peace to the world. That's how he evolved the unique style of music that came to be known as New Age. I got to a point where I was, I asked the question, what does the world need from me, you know? And this different style of music started to kind of evolve. I've always had a very kind of a simple melodic approach to my music. And um, so I kept a, some, of, some of my own um, musical personality and it blended with my spiritual uh, nature and my desire to um, create something beautiful and, and something that, that the world needed. Yeah. The answer to my question was that the world needed to be healed. Yeah. And 
I knew I wasn't going to go to school and be a doctor, so mm -hmm. the next best thing for me was to allow that intent to, um, to charge the music that I play. If people are open and they need some sort of, um, even if it's just a stress relief, you know, it, I think they can, they can find it and there's lots of beautiful music that has that feeling in it and that's what I try to do with my own music. Over the years, Mr. Lons has created more than 30 albums, including his Grammy-nominated East of the Moon. The world's largest music print publisher, Hal Leonard, also published over a dozen songbooks of his piano music. Recently, Mr. Lons created his new album, Liverpool, Reimagining the Beatles, collaborating with his friends, the world flutist Gary Strautsis and cellist Walter Gray. My latest album is called Liverpool, Reimagining the Beatles. And in the process of doing this recording, I got to take an amazing trip to Liverpool and uh, got a chance to spend some time both in Paul McCartney and John Lennon's childhood homes. Most of what we do is the music either from Liverpool or music that's uh, inspired by uh, Lennon McCartney and other English um, composers of that era. And I guess if you wanted to call us anything, we could say we're smooth classical. We have kind of a classical approach, but there is improvisation within the group, which is nice. This is called Liverpool. It's a song I wrote as a, a kind of an emotional overview of uh, the Liverpool record. Finally, Mr. Lons shares his insights about how music can affect people's emotions and lives. I'm not a scientist, so I can't really speak from a scientific point of view, but I know that certain um, repetitions, and you know this in, in meditation, if you use a mantra, there's a repetition. The human mind loves repetitiveness. So 
certain rhythms and certain uh, phrases that are repeated will help create kind of a light trance in the listener. Music will take on whatever charge that the performer or the songwriter or the singer puts to it. We can uh, create music for people that want to dance and celebrate. You can make music really sad, people will cry, you can make them laugh. I mean, really, it'll take on whatever um, charge, like you were saying, this vibrational um, energy. And I think that starts with the performer. It starts with the, uh, the, the initial composition. So I want to bring uh, music that has um, uh, the intent for healing, relaxation. I don't feel like the music has to always be mellow. You know, it can still be exciting, but it needs to um, take people someplace. I like to create little movies in people's mind, um, kind of like they're flying or, or having a, an experience that, that uh, they wouldn't normally have. I want to bring a positive entertainment to the world. Wonderful. This is a song uh, I'd like to dedicate to Mother Earth. It was a song um, originally written as a celebration of Earth Day. And uh, it's entitled Madre de la Tierra, Mother of the Land. Our appreciation, Mr. David Lons, for sharing your talent in creating such soul-soothing music. With best wishes, may your music continue to touch the hearts of many and help bring ever more peace to the earth. Be veg, go green to save our planet.
For more on David Lons and his music CDs, please visit www.davidlons.com. Melodious viewers, it was a pleasure having you with us on Enlightening Entertainment. May you and your loved ones be blessed and happy. For more details, please visit www.suprememastertv.com forward slash ee.